The mother of Eitan Pate spent decades avoiding the spotlight, but today she was thrust back into court, once again reliving the painful details surrounding her son's disappearance. CBS 2's Jessica Snyder has been following the case, and she joins us now with today's developments. Well, Christina Maurice, Julie Pates has largely avoided this now two-month trial, saying it was just too emotional. She was called back to the stand this morning, and her testimony was brief, but it was intended to cast doubt on the defense's claim in this case that Pedro Hernandez is not the right suspect. She is the still grieving mother 36 years later, but in court for the second time, Julie Pates had a job to do. The prosecution needed her to clear up whether the man in this video, convicted child molester Jose Ramos, who is not on trial in this case, had ever been inside the Pates family's Soho apartment. She was adamant, telling the jury, not with my knowledge, never. I am so here when I had my nervous breakdown. Jose Ramos was interviewed by detectives in this video in 1982. Ramos refuses to appear in court for this trial against Pedro Hernandez, asserting his Fifth Amendment rights. But the defense introduced testimony from two jailhouse informants who say they served time with Ramos in prison. They claim Ramos confessed to luring six-year-old Eitan Pates to his apartment and having sex with him the same day young Eitan disappeared in May 1979. Ramos also allegedly told the informants he spent time inside the Pates' Soho apartment since he was dating a woman who walked Aton to his bus stop around that time. But Julie Pates disputes that claim, and the prosecution contends these jailhouse informants were just trading information for favorable treatment in prison. Hernandez is charged with murdering Aton Pates, even telling investigators back in 2012 he stuffed the boy's body in a box and dumped it. But his lawyers say the confession was coerced, and Jose Ramos Ramos is actually the man prosecutors should have charged. It's quite probable that Ramos had something to do with the disappearance of Aton Pates, and this jury would actually have to exclude Ramos um, as a perpetrator in this case uh, if, in order for them to convict um, Pedro Hernandez. Now, the Pates family even sued Jose Ramos in a civil case, alleging that Ramos was responsible for Aton's death. The family in that case received $2 million in a default judgment. Now, Maurice and Christine, I actually asked the defense attorney if the introduction of Jose Ramos was enough to cast reasonable doubt. He, of course, said that is up to the jury in the big question in this case. Jessica, thank you.